Yeah. We're about to be here, right? Yeah. Not a bad thing. So before we take it out, we're gonna mark it. I just wanted to mark it together and I follow the bottom of the tape for me, just because that's my preference. It's up to you what you guys wanna do, okay? Now, remember, you really need to mark where your princessing is at now. Make sure to square that, to square it. Do not make a dot, you square it. Any corners, so always get used to squaring it out. So you don't have to guess what you're marking. Okay. And so, and if you can, there's a seam for the underbust. So just mark that too. You see right here that seam? Oh, okay. That's your underbust. So mark it. Make a little notch because that's gonna help you when you pin it to the side. Okay, then mark, mark, mark. I'm only marking the bottom of my tape because that's where I like for my waist. And believe it or not, this is very straightforward. This dress is a mini. Oh, wow. And, well, I, yes, I agree. If you can, you can. Summer is not over. I hope not. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 80 today. It literally feels like beach weather outside. That's not summer. That's global warming. It's really so then, where are we gonna just take it out? And the truing is very straightforward, guys. Okay. We're gonna die. <laughs> so now, what we're gonna do is. You see, it looks a little funky, but it's okay. First, we're just gonna do the sections that we do know, which is the neckline. It's always the easiest. And we just connect it to the shoulder seam. I don't have enough uh, seam allowance in my shoulder. That's okay, I'll tape one later. Okay. That's fine. Now, you see there's a slight curve. It goes in, 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 and then goes out here, and in again. That's the part that we need to be very careful with. We're gonna use a French curve. Usually in your apex, you're gonna go out, like a parenthesis. And then, you see how you have the little underboss notch? You're gonna take the other side of your curve that's not so curved, and gonna go inside. That's the trick to this section. So you notice how you go in and out? You see the little curves? For anyone who's using the bigger sizes, I'm using a size 14, it's more noticeable. For anyone who's using the smaller sizes, it's not as noticeable, okay? So now we're just gonna try to follow that. These are not straight lines, guys. Try to follow as best as possible with your French curve using the side that has the slight curve and just matching it as best as possible to your side to your princess seam Tara. so far that's what it's looking like you see this very slight curve on the bust yeah this is the front in the sizing you'll see it more because remember it's wrapping around more curve you have more curve on the side than the front right now okay so now we're gonna do this and I'm just gonna use my French curve for the whole thing. I know it's a little hard because you have you cut into it, but just place your hand so it doesn't open up on you. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is match it. Try to match it as best as possible. And then once you get below the waist, this is when you can use your hip curve a lot more because it's a it's it's much uh it's less angles but it's longer so it's better for the below waist you see that no done that's done and now we just add half a seam seam allowance to the side to the princess seam we this this type of drape is very repetitive you're gonna be 
every panel is about the same thing. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Today is gonna be very repetitive. It's gonna be four panels. And I think let's take a break after the truing and get the other side seam, the side, sorry, the side piece straight, okay? Yeah, we're gonna do the back today. We're gonna do the whole thing today. I want this one. Oh, if you can wear corsets, dresses, not dresses, short dresses. You can use it even for tops. So for example, I know one of you, I don't know whom, but I remember someone was asking me what happens if your lady has more bust. Will you put a bust, large hair? I think it was you. Yeah, I think a princess seam is better. Yeah. Just because it will, you it has a better shape. You can I think you guys notice how tight you can go on the waist. Mm -hmm. It's because you're just putting all the excess outside of that. So that's another thing. Um, if you learn how to drape this, you learn how to drape corsets, which is a very <laughs> in right now too, and evening mm -hmm. wear. Because evening wear is very fitted for the most part. If it's not fitted, what you guys forget to know is that it, real evening wear will have about four to six layers. Because you have the foundation and they, they drape on top of the foundation. So it looks effortless. So you know those girls that look really cinched in and like, oh, where'd she get that waist? It's her evening wear. <laughs> yeah, she has a corset inside. It just doesn't look like a corset because they use fabric that matches the top. And there's a technique to do that and it takes forever. I mean, the well done dresses. The ones that are not well done, we all know now. Okay, so this is it. Looks really narrow, right? Yeah. This is where I need you to guys get, okay? Okay, thank you.